What's up guys, my name is Guillaume and welcome to a new episode of Head the Tone. Hello guys, I hope you're doing fantastic today and welcome to this new episode of Hit the Tone on Tomans Guitars and Basses. If you're new around here, welcome. What I do is take bits of really famous songs and try to give you everything you need to hit the tone. Now, the cool thing is you get to choose what song I'm going to be covering next. Just put it in the comment section down below and I'll get to you as soon as I can. While you're down there, if you can consider liking this video, subscribing to the channel, that would be fantastic. Thank you very much in advance. And now, it is time to start with today's episode which is Shot in the Dark by ACDC. I'm going to spare you with all the uh, I'm scared, I shouldn't do that, I shouldn't touch ACDC, I shouldn't even try. But you guys have been asking for ACDC for a long time, so technically that's your fault, not mine. <laughs> Just kidding. I'm gonna do my best. Obviously, it's an incredibly hard sound to try and reproduce within a small studio environment, but we're going to give it a go. And starting with that glorious Epiphone SG, it is part of the uh, 2020 lineup with the new headstock and like all the fancy designs and proper 61 reissue of an SG guitar by Epiphone. It's a really nice one. I'm going to be playing in the bridge position and that is our basic sound. <laughs> But I'm sure all of you guys expected to see an SG in here. Let's have a look at the rest of our setup in our amp and pedal section. And this is where things get tricky. Because there are so many myths and legends as to what Angus Young uses for his rhythm sound that I quite honestly, don't really know where to start. There were mentions of Marshall Plexis, obviously, so 59 Super Leads, Marshall Bassman, Bass Heads, like original Marshall Heads, mentions of some Mesa Boogie stuff as well, I'm certain tall. So yeah, fairly confusing, uh, but they did release uh, with Premier Guitar last year a rig rundown, which definitely helped to sort of narrow down what was going into that sound. A lot of people thought, oh, this is the wireless bag, this is that preamp, because he used that in the studio as well. There's actually responsible for that special ACDC sound, which is probably true to an extent, I guess. But thanks to last year's rig rundown, we know that at least on the previous tour, he was using a bunch of Marshall Plexis heads and Solo Dallas preamps. Which is what I'm doing today. I am running my Epiphone SG into the Solo Dallas replica, which is the pedal format of that preamp unit. And I'm going straight in the front end of my JCM 800 lead series. The controls will be on your screen as usual once we've taken the mics off, but you'll see that the master is fully cranked. That means we're reaching power amp distortion and not preamp distortion. That's vastly different in terms of grit. The sound is actually fairly clean, to be honest. And even with the Solo Dallas on, it adds a color to the sound, definitely, but almost no distortion, no grit whatsoever. But pulling all of that together gives us that sound. <laughs> I, can't, I will not even try to say that this is the ACDC sound, but in fairness, within a budget on top of that, it's coming pretty close. I think, at least in the room, and I hope it comes through on YouTube with the miking and everything, all the stuff that I usually say when I'm not sure that it's gonna sound good, but I'm really happy with that sound in the room. So I'm gonna go with that and jump onto the final part of that video, which is the most important as usual, and is how to play the song. <laughs> As usual, reminder time before I get started, you will find in the description box down below a link to everything that I'm using today, a bunch of other recommendations at different price points if you want to go for the full stack with the actual Solo Dallas unit and the proper 61 SG. All of that will be down there as well as the tabs to the song. And now, your guitar should be tuned in E standard and the fretting hand is going to look something like this. <laughs> Thank you. 
Now the cool thing is, it's not really a beginner riff, it's not really an advanced riff. If you've been playing guitar for a while, you can definitely tackle most of ACDC rhythm sections at least. It's one of these bands that, that have been criticized a lot for doing the same thing over and over again. But to be honest, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. You know, it's always such powerful riffs and just such an energy that goes into it. The sound also helps with that a lot. The picking, for example, which we're gonna have a look at in a second, if you just go a little bit softer on that first part of the riff and pick with everything that you've got on that D and G chords, it's going to react and it's gonna bring you closer to that kind of sound. But all of that to say, it's a fairly accessible riff and it's a really, really good one. And now let's have a look at the picking side of it. As I said, that kind of low gain setup, but that's really in your face and that, that that's really responsive, is gonna make your picking hand matter a whole lot more. Just pick a little bit softer when you start the progression and go full ham on the D and G chords. And with all of that said and done, I think that's it guys. You have all the tools you need to hit the tone on Shot in the Dark by ACDC. Now I know it was a tricky one, ACDC is pretty much untouchable, but I really hope I did it justice. I hope you guys enjoyed that video and maybe learned something today. If so, please consider liking it and subscribing to the channel. That helps me a whole lot. So thank you very, very much in advance. I wish you all a fantastic week and I'll see you next Monday in a new episode of Hit The Tone.